Hey, my gators, welcome back to how to DIY and save a dime. And I am the single mom versus the fixer upper. So today we're going to tackle something in our home that relieves us of a little bit of anxiety. Now, are you like me where you organize stuff and when life happens throughout the week, you are frantically rushing to grab something or get dressed or find an item and you kind of discombobulate all of your organization. But not only does it affect the fact that you can't find anything and because things are underneath and all jumbled, I don't even know if that's a word, you literally don't even wear everything because you don't see everything. So today I decided, okay, girl, we are going to get in these drawers and we are going to organize all of these things that are literally making me feel some type of way. Like every time I open the drawer, I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to organize this. The feeling that it makes me feel when I see it, I don't know. If you're like me, talk to me in the comments. When you open a drawer and it just looks like this, you're just seeing random colors and pieces and things and you don't know what's what, what's under what, what's clean and what's not at the moment, yeah. So I have three drawers like that. The first drawer was just my night clothes and all of that. This drawer here is like some sweatpants that shouldn't be in here, all of my leggings and all of my t-shirts. And guess what? They will fit. And they will have room. But guess what? When you have stuff just all piled in there, it's no rhyme or reason. It's not organized and folded like it should be. This is what you deal with. You're tucking and stuffing, tucking and stuffing. So we're not going to deal with that one. Then the other one is my scrubs. If you've been rocking with me for years, you know that my scrubs are my uniform for doing projects around the house. Why? Because if they get dirty or get paint on them, oh, well, I'll grab another one. Now, this drawer is unorganized. I have these little caddies that I shared with you guys several years ago. Um, once I do refinish these uh, nightstands slash dressers, I'm going to put the caddies back on the side of my bed because they tuck under like the top of whatever you have, like glass or mirror or whatever on top of your nightstand. Or you can kind of stick them to the side. So this is my drawer with all my scrubs. And I'm going to be tackling this drawer as well so i figure when you're starting a project that seems overwhelming the first thing to do is go with what's easier what is the easier drawer what is the easier task what is something that you know can get you motivated and inspire you to keep going for me it's the drawer with my actual scrubs in it so that's going to be the first drawer that we tackle so you want to look at each drawer as its own individual project you want to take everything out of the drawer and you want to lay it on a surface that you can now refold and organize it in a much better way. I did not do it on the camera, but what I did was I sprayed linen spray on all of my items and I also sprayed inside the drawers. So these are all the scrubs and what I'm working with. So we're going to fold these and get these back into the drawer, into the drawer and save some space and save me some anxiety from looking at it and making me feel some type of way every time I open a drawer. So we're just gonna fold the shirts and then we're also going to fold the pants and then we're gonna put those back inside the drawer. Guys, I'm gonna show you some visuals of before and after towards the end of the video. And I want you to just really think of how the before and after affects you and how it makes you feel, even though this is in your drawer, but just seeing it. Tell me what you think in the comments. So let's get this stuff folded and get it back in the drawer. Now we are working with a clean slate. Just looking at the clean slate makes me feel good. Look at the space, guys. Look at the space. <laughs> it was no space. It was just literally all over the place. So this right here helps you to just move on to your next project or your next drawer or your next area that needs to be organized. So let's tackle these leggings. OMG, Lord. Once again, take it all out and let's get started. Okay. 
So with the t-shirts, you want to make sure if your t-shirts have any type of print or anything on them, you want to fold them in a way that is going to be face up and you can see exactly what that t-shirt is instead of having to run anything. So this is me showing you my leggings. I fold them in half, fold them in half, fold them in half again, and then I kind of make them a little bit smaller and you see how I was able to place those back inside of the drawer and take up way less space and show so here i'm showing you how i'm going to refold the t-shirts at least so each one of them can be shown and you don't have to ruin the drawer again and this is a sweatshirt that literally is a little bit thicker so we're going to put that bad boy in the back but look at the leggings look at how they're neatly in there and that's everything that was already in the drawer and guess what guys i still had some items that needed to be put in here that were in the washing machine and they still fit appropriately look at the space do you see the difference of when you organize? It makes things so much better. I added three more pairs of leggings and two t-shirts to this drawer and I still have space. So this is what you want to do. Tackle one at a time. Even if all three were too much for you in one day or the whole dresser, tackle a drawer at a time. And if you don't get to the next drawer and you add something in or take something out, be mindful of how you do that. So now it is time for us to tackle this one. For some reason, this one gave me so much more pressure just looking at it. And this was my night, my nightgowns, well really nightgowns and um, night clothes basically. So I have a lot of satin. Now this here, I haven't worn, so I actually put that in a giveaway box along with the t-shirt. And guess why? It was underneath stuff and it really isn't as comfortable as I thought it was, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then we're gonna tackle these satin pieces. I have a lot of craftings and I have some satin pajama sets where it's like a cami, a robe, and a pair of pants. I have three sets of those, black, white, black red and blue so i figure let me find a way to fold these so that way when i grab it i'm grabbing all of the parts of the pajama set at one time and then i don't have to go looking for the belt the robe belt so i'll put them all together and then those are my craftings on the left hand side and then that is a robe in a nighty navy blue and then the other one is just a black robe because i'm currently wearing the nighty that goes to the black uh robe on the right so we're just folding these up neatly and now i'm trying to come up with a clever way of folding these that way they look nice and i can grab it all at one time look at this my gators it feels so much better i have all the pieces i don't have to look through the drawer trying to figure out where's the belt where's the cami where's the pants where's the robe they're all going to be tied together with the belt and that's how they're going to go back in the drawer what do you think about this this is a great creative way to keep your pajama sets together tell me what you think talk to me in the comments all right let's get this stuff back inside the drawer Do you guys see the difference? The difference makes a big visual impression on your brain and it makes you feel a lot calmer. It just seemed chaotic and it kinda, I hate to use anxiety lightly, but it gives that feeling of, whew, you know, let me breathe. So let's recap. This was the drawer with the actual scrubs and this is how it looked before I organized it and made it look much better. This is actually um, just, just look at it. Watch how I change to the next screen and how it feels different for your brain. Watch. Look at that guys. Like it literally makes a total difference. Like tell me, doesn't that feel more calming, more peaceful, less stress for you when you open a drawer like that? It could be even more neater, but 
this is just the beginning. I don't want you to think it has to be perfect. It just needs to be perfect for you to relieve you of the stress. Even though you may not go in this drawer every day, these things sit in your brain in that subconscious and make you feel some type of way because you know it's something that you need to tackle one day. So then we have the other drawer. Now, this was the drawer with all the leggings and the sweatpants and just it was a lot going on. But look at the difference. Doesn't that do something for your brain? Doesn't that make you feel calm? Doesn't it feel like you got everything together and it's it's just going as it should? And then this drawer right here, like literally, I, I go in there every night. But to feel the difference and then see it look like this makes a big difference. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. Talk to me in the comments because I talk back. Later, guys.